America's injustice towards people of color, especially African Americans, runs deep in the fabric of this country. In a segment on Saturday, Melissa Harris Berry reminded the nation of just how many we have lost from police murdering an unarmed African American man. Sean Bell, Oscar Grant, Michael Brown from New Orleans to Oakland these are just a few of the hundreds of men murdered by police within the past decade and what's worse more often than not these same police are typically covered by their department and some families never receive the justice they deserve. The fact it took six days for Brown's murderer's name to surface, the fact the police force has tried so hard to cover their tails and create a level of character assassination against Brown with the alleged theft video. The fact last night I watched until the live feed of Ferguson till 2 a.m. and witnessed cops shooting tear gas onto peaceful protesters with children and threatened journalists' arrest shows us just how much work is left to be done. From 2006 to 2012 a white police officer killed a black person at least twice a week in this country, Harris Berry states, as well as sharing that local police report killing at least 400 people a year. Harris Perry also reminds us that Ferguson, Mo is right outside of St. Louis, the place Dred Scott sued for his freedom on the grounds he'd lived in a free state. His case went to the Supreme Court and the verdict went, Scott had no right to sue because as a black man he was never intended to be an American as Chief Justice Roger Taney stated black men had no rights which the white man was bound to respect. Scott sued in 1857, but these words feel as if they painfully still ring true.